Now, suppose we want to find the area under the graph y equals x cubed from x equals 1 to x equals 2. Now, in order to do that, here I've drawn out four rectangles. But obviously, to actually get an accurate area, you don't need four rectangles. You need an infinite number of rectangles. And each of the rectangles will need to be infinitely narrow. Now, we need to have some sort of an abbreviation for the infinite sum of an infinite number of infinitely small things. And for that, we use something that looks a little like this, integral sign. And in this case, we would say it's the integral from 1 to 2. And the width, let's look at the area. We're, we need to add up an infinite number of areas. Now, each of these rectangles has a width of dx and a height of x cubed. So we would say of x cubed dx. And the key here is we're not adding up four rectangles or five rectangles. We're adding up an infinite number of infinitely small rectangles. And that's how you get the area under a curve.